genital herpes women. As with most sexually transmitted infections, no woman wants to live with genital herpes. But literally, hundreds of millions of women all around the world do. Genital herpes is an incurable but treatable virus. It's also a common one. Understanding genital herpes is empowering whether you have it or are hoping to avoid it as knowing what you're up against gives you the information needed to act. Whether that means preventing genital herpes, lessening the frequency of outbreaks, easing the pain and discomfort of symptoms or preventing transmission to your partner. The point is, the more you know about genital herpes, the less about it you have to fear. What is herpes? Herpes is a common virus in men and women. Genital herpes is most commonly caused by herpes simplex virus type 2, HSV2, but less commonly can be caused by HSV1, a different strain of the virus that is typically the cause of oral herpes. It is a sexually transmitted infection, spread by close contact with an infected person, generally through sexual activity. Genital herpes can be transmitted even when an infected individual doesn't have any symptoms. This mode of infection is called asymptomatic viral shedding. There is no cure for genital herpes, it is a lifelong virus that you will carry forever once infected. Herpes outbreaks involve painful blisters and sores on your genitals and even inside your vagina and on your cervix. Because of the nature of the virus and its symptoms, Genital herpes can be an embarrassing diagnosis. But it doesn't have to be. It's common, and the symptoms can be managed. A note on HSV1 versus HSV2. Genital herpes isn't the only kind of herpes. HSV1 is known as the main cause of oral herpes and is another strain of the virus. HSV1 is typically transmitted through kissing sharing eating utensils or cups, razors or towels with someone who has the virus. However, HSV1 can be spread to the genitals during oral sex, too, leading to genital herpes. Likewise, HSV2 can, although less commonly, be the cause of oral herpes. How many women have it? As many as 11.9% of U.S. people between the ages of 14 and 49 have a genital herpes infection, according to the Centers for Disease Control and Prevention. Unfortunately for women, the infection is more easily spread to them during heterosexual sex, so it is more common in women than in men. The CDC estimates nearly 16% of women were infected with genital herpes during 2015 to 2016, compared with 8.2% of men. Genital herpes is also more common in African American women. The U.S. Department of Health and Human Services estimates that one out of every two African American women between the ages of 14 and 49 has HSV2. Symptoms of Vaginal Herpes not everyone who contracts HSV2 develops symptoms, but if you do, your first outbreak will likely be your most severe. The symptoms typically arise between 2 and 12 days after being exposed to the virus. During the initial outbreak, you may experience flu-like symptoms including fever, muscle aches and swollen lymph nodes. In the first and subsequent outbreak, you may experience itching and burning in the genital and slash or anal areas, vaginal discharge, lesions or blisters on the vulva, vagina, anus, and thighs, scabs as the sores crust over and heal, difficulty or pain when urinating, depending on the location of the sores. In more rare cases, the symptoms of herpes can be so mild they go unrecognized and may be mistaken for insect bites a yeast infection, pimples, or other small abrasions. A day or two before you experience an outbreak, you may have a warning period, known as a prodrome. The symptoms of a prodrome can include itching, tingling, burning and slash or pain in the site where the sores will develop. 
It's important to know that you're contagious during this prodrome period. Vaginal Herpes Diagnosis The easiest time to receive a genital herpes diagnosis is during an outbreak. Your doctor may take a sample from one of your sores to test for the virus. Other diagnostic tests include a PCR or polymerase chain reaction test to look for and identify the herpes virus you have or a blood test to look for herpes antibodies. However, you may not develop antibodies to the virus that are detectable in your blood for several months following the initial infection. When you go to your doctor, it may be helpful to have notes on what your symptoms are when they started and how long they've been present. Your doctor may ask about your sexual history, including whether you've had other sexually transmitted infections in the past. Genital Herpes Women Genital Herpes Women Images Genital Herpes Women Photos Genital Herpes Women Pictures Genital Herpes Women Symptoms Genital Herpes Women ICD-10 Genital Herpes Women Early Stage Genital Herpes Women Symptoms Stages Herpes Symptoms Women Herpes in Women Thank you for watching, and please subscribe to my channel for my upcoming herpes treatment videos.